I have been dreaming about this battle of the cruise ships since I thought about it. Here it is, Icon of the Seas versus the Celebrity Beyond. Welcome back to Cruise News and Booze, where you sit down, have a drink, and talk about all things cruise related. Today we're talking about two of our favorite ships of all time, Icon of the Seas versus the Celebrity Beyond. Now, when you first think about these two ships, you may think, this doesn't seem like a fair comparison. You know, Icon's the biggest ship in the world. You know, it's got all these different activities going on on it. Poor little Beyond. You know, you may, you may it ever it's not fair. going to stack up? But I think that these are actually, even though you get two different experiences, I think that it makes for a very interesting battle. It does. If this is your first battle of the cruise ships, welcome. We're happy to have you. And if it's your not first, welcome back. We're happy to see you again. Now, to go over some ground rules, here's the way that we handle these battle of the ships. We talk about food. We talk about bars accommodations, activities, entertainment, service, and most importantly, at the end, we give you a price comparison. Now, we don't give points out for price, but we've determined that these are the most insightful ways to categorize a great cruise experience. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to put these two ships head to head and let's kick it off with food. We're going to be talking about main dining room, buffet, quick service, and speciality. Molly, let's go ahead. It. So I'm going to be giving a point to both of them. And you guys know how I feel about the whole both thing. But all right, let's hear her out. Let's so plead your case. So the thing for both is, although Icon had more types of restaurants, right? So when you're getting into that, they have not only the main dining room, um, they had the buffet, which was fantastic. I feel like the buffet was very comparable to Beyond. Okay. Like it felt like the same high quality food. They both had like the day of the seafood buffet, which once again, very comparable. Um, Icon had more, like I said, quick service options. Um, Beyond only had two. So there it gets a little, you know, iffy. But I feel like really when it came down to it, they both had really good quality food. I loved that the Beyond had the four different main dining rooms where it truly felt like a different experience every single night. And you didn't feel like you had to do a specialty restaurant to have a great high end experience. So I feel like either way, you're going to get a great experience. You're going to have great food and you're not going to miss out. Good points. Good points. I like that. So I'm going to give my point to Icon. Okay. Here's why. So when we think about main dining room, very comparable. Very comparable. Right. Service, food, quality, all that good stuff. When we think about buffet, very comparable. Right. They have very similar items, uh, similar food quality. I don't really think that there was anything negative that we got from either dining room or buffet on either of these ships. Yeah. Now on Icon, we did do speciality. Yeah. So I think that gives them a little bit of a leg up, uh, but that's an unfair advantage because they didn't do specialty on, on Celebrity Beyond. We didn't do it. They have yeah, it. They have it, but we didn't do it. But I think the way that Icon really takes the point here, it comes down to that quick service. Yeah. Even if I throw the specialty out and I just look at quick service, the amount of options available on Icon and variety of options far supersedes Celebrity Beyond. And I get it. It's like double the size. Right. So yeah, it's going to have to have <laughs> double of those options. But again, we're putting these head to head. And this is one area that I think Icon really stood out. But the food on Celebrity was exceptional. It really was. The next thing is one of our favorite topics, and that is going to be bars. So that's going to be drinks, the lounges, and just the variety that they have at these bars. And for me, this was not that hard as I thought it was going to be. This one was easy. Yeah. Um, it, because, and I'm going to go with the Celebrity Beyond. And now, even though Icon of the Seas has the most bars and the most variety um, that you could probably ever imagine, some really cool different bars as well that we did enjoy, the thing with Beyond is that they truly have next level bars and just experiences. Um, I will never find a bar I think that I love as much as a martini bar on the Celebrity Beyond. It's just such a cool experience. Um, they really went above and beyond with their menus on Beyond where each bar truly had its own menu and 
it was just some of the best drinks out there. The quality was there. When you think about bars like the Sunset Bar, that it's just, it truly was exceptional. And um, we'll definitely cruise with Celebrity again just for the bars. Yeah, I would say beyond kicks icons ass, hands down, yeah. when it comes to bars. Like, they're, it's not even close. And that's just because Beyond's swinging to a whole new level. They're taking it to a whole nother experience. Every bar is a different experience um, from one to the next, which I just thought was fantastic. Um, and one thing that Icon did better with the bars than Beyond was their coffee bar was yeah, much better. Coffee uh, bars. I mean, they get points for that. Yeah. But when you think about Eden, when you think about the Sunset Bar, when you think about the Martini Bar, World Class Bar, like I, we could just go on and on and on and on. Like there yeah. were so many excellent bars on celebrity and to the point of the mega ships right you get so many bars that you start dealing with quantity over quality yeah and celebrity we found was that really perfect spot of there's enough variety but really good quality variety absolutely the next thing is going to be accommodations so that's going to be like the room the ship feeling and the ship layout so i'm going to once again give them both a point because you really can't compare them there's two completely different feelings. We're here to compare them, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> Icon is fun and vibrant. And although they did bring in some, I would say, celebrity-like elements to it, where okay. in like the main promenade area, it had more like of an upscale feeling. Same with Central Park. They added some more of, you know, the, the high-end feeling elements and bars to it. Um so it's very different, you know, obviously when you get to the pool decks, that's where it gets to be noticeably yeah. different as far as just the vibe itself, right? Mm -hmm. Very tropical on one, very high and classy on the other. And I think you really can't, once again, can't go wrong on either one. I think if you're looking for a more adult, um, sophisticated vacation, then the Beyond is right for you. If you're looking for that fun party vibe, or, you know, you've got kids, then the icon is definitely the way to go. But no matter which way, it they're both gorgeous ships. Um, when it comes to rooms, I think that we had a balcony on, Central Park balcony on icon, and we had an interior on beyond. They were both great rooms. Like, these are probably two of the best rooms we've ever had. Um, icon did do some things with their bathroom, which I thought was great. They made the shower bigger. They had the like seat in there. Um, so it did feel more high end than the other Royal Caribbean ships, but the Beyond Room was just great. It was classy, it was elegant, it was everything you could want from a cruise cabin. Molly's here making sure she doesn't hurt anybody's feelings. And I'm, I'm here to throw punches. So I'm gonna give my point of accommodations to Beyond. And here's why. Rooms, the interior room on the Celebrity Beyond was the exact same size as a balcony room on any other ship. Mm -hmm. Sans balcony. There was just no balcony. Yeah. That's the first time we've ever experienced that with an interior room. They're usually small, cramped. You know, they're nice and dark, but size-wise. And the bathroom on the Beyond was one of the largest bathrooms we've ever had. Yeah. And for an interior room. That's like crazy. That, that's amazing. When I think about the ship feeling, they are two separate vibes. And really, it just depends on what type of vibe you're going for. But the Celebrity vibe is around the entire ship. Yeah. There are literally art exhibits you walk through. Yeah. Sensory, auditorial experiences around this art piece. Um, it's just themed out really well. And Royal Caribbean, there's a lot of different theming going on. Yeah. Celebrity, it just all vibes really closely. Ship layout, I think if you if this is your first time getting on a cruise ship and Icon of the Seas is the first ship for you, you are going to be absolutely confused for at least the first five or six days. <laughs> maybe by day six, maybe by day seven, you'll have it figured out. Um, not saying that it's hard to get around the ship. There's just so much it's so that it's a lot to take in. Yeah. Celebrity, it was very easy to get around. Yeah, Everything was laid out in a really nice spot. You had centralized areas where everything kind of branches off from there. The poles are upstairs and it all flows really nicely. So I'm giving my point to be on. Makes sense. The next thing is going to be activities. And we talk about that. It's going to be pools, like crew organized activity, and then slides. I don't even think you got to go far this into this. Like, is, I, Icon just takes the cake. Yeah, here. this one's just Icon. If you want the best activities on any ship out there it's going to be icon you don't go on celebrity for the activities no. so i don't really think it's a negative there 
But if it is something you're looking for and you're, you know, you see these two ships, you're like, oh, which one should I do? And you're looking specifically for activities. It's obviously Icon. You could take one deck of Icon and compare it to all of Celebrity <laughs> and it would still beat it from an activity standpoint. Yeah. Just one deck. They, they, were, they were great. And that's what it's designed for. It is yes. truly designed for that. And that's why we like the way that we compare these ships because you get, like I gave Celebrity credit for the accommodations because that's what they're known for. And I didn't give it Icon here. Icon gets the point because it's 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 what they're known for. Yeah. Next topic on the list is going to be entertainment. So that's why we're talking about theater shows and lounges and just any other shows that are going on um, around the ship. Now I'm going to go first uh, just because we'll change it up a little bit. You've been taking the first on all the other ones. So I'm going to give my point to Beyond. And this is going to be controversial. Yeah, you see you're already shaking her head over there. Here's why, okay? So Beyond had amazing variety of shows. So when I think about uh, Rebel, that was really good. Mm -hmm. Their two celebrity production shows of Arte and Elements, excellent. Great, great acting. Everything was fantastic. And had it stopped there, I would probably give it to Icon. Okay. Right? But they didn't stop there. They also had the shows back in Eden. And that's something you won't see, I don't think, anywhere else. Is a typical bar lounge with n no stage, no none of that space. They just put the show on in the middle of the lounge. Just make it happen. Yeah, High-flying acts, like every single show that we saw with Celebrity was something just spectacular. And Icons Entertainment was really good. But I think Celebrity just went a little bit further with the quality of the entertainment. I'm I rest to, my case. I'm going to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Although Celebrity Beyond had, like you said, some really good quality entertainment, you are not going to see entertainment like Icon anywhere else. Icon's entertainment is the kind of entertainment that will give you chills because it's unlike anything you're going to see whether it's the royal productions and the royal theater you get to see the wizard of oz which was a two hour long production that they absolutely nailed you've got the ice skating show i mean ice skating on a cruise ship that in itself is incredible and they absolutely knocked it out of the park with their show which was starburst elemental beauty and then last but certainly not least was the Aqua Theater. And this was the best Aqua Theater show we've seen on any ship at all. They started it out absolutely high energy. Um, the level of talent that they found in this Aqua Theater show was incredible. And really just throughout all of their shows, the talent was unreal. Um, going on to just different lounge entertainment, they had the Dueling Pianos, which was fantastic. It was probably the best lounge entertainment we've seen anywhere. You also have the um, Stowaway throughout the ship. He was out playing music different places, which was so fun. If you don't know what Stowaway is, he literally, he's, he's a piano player and he sings and he'll just show up random places throughout the ship. And he's really fun. And uh, they also had pub entertainment as well as, of course, boleros. They had music hall. There just was always something to do and it all was a really high level. So I think there's no way that you can possibly compare to Icon. Well, the Aqua Theater show did start up here. High energy. Wows. Ah. But it went mm, the rest of the show. I didn't think that. It didn't go back up. It was good. Uh, all right. Last topic that we give points for is going to be service. Now, this is what we're talking about room attendance, food service, and bar service. Now, I am giving my point to be on. Okay. And here's why. I have never been treated <laughs> the way that I was treated in the world-class bar <laughs> on any other cruise ship. And I loved it. <laughs> Those guys were fantastic. It's that that right there, bar service seals the deal for me. Those guys were incredible. It was an amazing experience. And and I think about like room attendants. If I remember their name, then that means that like I liked them or they did a really good job. And I remember his name is Wico yeah. on Celebrity Beyond. 
uh, and food service. It, it was spectacular. I mean, it yeah. really was. Everywhere you went, the 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 uh, servers in the main dining room, even though you rotated, we had great service. Yeah. And even in the buffet. But, I mean, bar service. Like, just think about Shivani and the Martini mm -hmm. Bar. Like, just where else are you going to see somebody juggling <laughs> bottles of, well, they're empty bottles, but bottles of liquor. Yeah. Pouring cocktails on their head. Doing the, the, the cocktail towers. I'm going to give them both a point. And this is because I feel like Icon had the level of service that Celebrity had. And even though it is twice the size and there's twice as many people that uh, they're dealing with, they did it with such grace and just friendliness on Icon. I thought that was really incredible. The fact that on the first day, the one of the bar staff knew our names and our room number by immediately, it seemed like. And even though there were so many people, he made it a point to come over and see us and remember us. Um, I think that that stood out just because, of course, when there's fewer people, it's easier to remember, but they did just as good with the large, large amounts of people that they were dealing with. I thought the bar service was really good. Um, everywhere you went, they were very friendly. Never had a grumpy um, bartender anywhere. Of course, when it comes to like the martini bar, it's hard to compare that because they are so specialized in what they do. But I think either one, you're not going to get bad service. Now, the last topic of the day, again, there's no points for this, but it is price. We'll share with you all what we paid for these cruises. So Icon of the Seas, we paid $3,600 for the two people in a uh, Central Park balcony. We did add on a $1,200 beverage package, and we had a 200 speciality dining experience. So that brought the grand total of Icon to $5,000. And the price we paid for Beyond, I don't think we'll probably ever find again because it was such a good price. So that's something to keep in mind. We've had people leave comments before that they can't find the same pricing. And honestly, we were shocked as well when we got this price. We ended up paying $1,200 for the cruise. Yep. We had an $800 beverage package add-on, which equaled a grand total of $2,000. Yep. Now, it was only six days. It was. Compared it was to seven, days. and it was an interior room instead of a balcony. Mm -hmm. And we only, we didn't do the specialty dining. Correct. Should uh, have. Yeah. Next time we do celebrity, we're definitely going to do some specialty. I think it's because it was our first time on celebrity. We never tried it. So That's right. Like, we wanted to experience yeah. the main celebrity experience. Yeah. So next time we'll do some specialty. If so. you've been keeping count, Icon of the Seas has scored a total of seven points. Drum roll. <laughs> Beyond. Celebrity Beyond came out with a total of eight points. I think that really just speaks to the level of celebrity, right? It truly is next level because even though it doesn't have as many, you know, thrills as Icon, it truly felt luxurious. You got great service, great food. Um, it, it truly is in a class all of its own. So I think either way, you can't go wrong. I knew that this was going to be close. Yeah. Like I really felt yeah. that these were two comparable ship experiences, depending on what you're looking for. Thrills and family fun or chills and, you know, just relaxation. Like that's going to really determine which way you should go. And on Icon, a lot of the things that we enjoyed, we said, oh, this reminds us of Celebrity. Mm -hmm. So they kind of did tie some things in um, and you got some of those, you know, higher end elegant touches throughout the ship. If you want to see Icon kick another ship's ass, go check out our last battle <laughs> of the cruise ships, Icon versus Wonder of the Seas. That, there was, n it wasn't even it wasn't remotely close. close. Like, I don't think Wonder got any points, did they? No. That's just sad. That used to be a great ship. <laughs> Back in my day. Anyways, we appreciate you guys hanging out with us today. If you have enjoyed what you've seen, make sure you give us a like on the video and hit the subscribe button if you want to hang out with us a little more each week. Um, and if you want to uh, see more than what we have here on YouTube, check out our, our uh, Happy Hour podcast. That's uh, anywhere where you get your favorite podcast. Just search Cruise News and Booze and it'll pop up. Uh, we call it the Happy Hour because it's an hour-long discussion every week where we sit down and take topics like this and go, a little bit deeper, a little more next level further than we can go here on YouTube. And we get into some more of the critiquing and more of the nitty gritty of all of these things. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out with us. Until next time. time. Cheers. Cheers.